The time it takes depends, as always, on external factors such as temperature, sunlight, humidity, etc. After a few days or a few years, the larva changes into a new being, which appears at the appropriate time. It's life in installments. It's something that goes beyond all our dreams. We don't have the power to delay our own life. It's likely we will never have it. It may be because our soul is not designed to live forever, at least on this world. Nowadays, the freezing of embryonic or sexual cells and cloning could make, at least theoretically, a second life possible or make it easier to become parents after our deaths. But the methods to achieve this feat are questioned by society. While cryogenesis is still only possible for Sleeping Beauty. Life in suspended animation is the only way to cross gulfs in time. But what we find just impossible is quite natural for apparently simpler beings. The simple Artemia has gone beyond what we would call a pause in its biological cycle. Although they're not handsome, they're the main character of a real Sleeping Beauty story. Once upon a time, in southern Africa, a colony of Artemia laid their eggs before a dry period that lasted 100 years. Once the salt mine where the adults had lived dried, the eggs were scattered over the ground at the mercy of the elements. The eggs were smaller than the finest grains of sand and remained half buried in the dust. After the first few decades, it seemed that all trace of life had disappeared. However, its living spark was there, waiting. More than 100 years after the eggs were produced, the sky was gray and heavy over the thirsty ground. On that afternoon, the sky opened and it rained. The touch of raindrops on the eggs awoke them from their latent state and little by little returned them to the living world. A cascade of hormones was started inside the still living eggs. Just 1%, but it was enough to start again. With the sudden increase in humidity, the embryo development process was reactivated, a surprisingly fast process. In just a few hours, while the water level rose in the former salt mine ponds, thousands of minute Artemia larvae joined the party underwater. They were celebrating their own resurrection. They had vanquished time and were now ready to perpetuate themselves once again till the next drought. According to some studies, the temporary death-like stage of these crustaceans can span up to 1,000 years. For Artemia and some other extraordinary species, suspended life is not a linear process. That's why they break our traditional succession from birth, growth, reproduction, and death, called life. The ability to stop the life process and to reactivate it later and organize a biochemical device that can be restarted with just some drops of water or by a slight barometric variation, that represents the conquest of time. It's making fun of the clock, escaping death, 
and approaching eternal life. A dream is ancient as it is impossible for mankind. Eternity, however, is really seductive for man. We are the only animal that is aware that sooner or later, we are going to die. On our planet, the living beings that are the most similar to the concept of immortality are the beings that are the most different from Homo sapiens according to evolution. They are the most primeval living beings on the Earth. Bacteria. For three and a half billion years, each bacteria has split in two before its death. There are no parents, no children, no sex, just splitting. With time, bacteria may evolve, they may change, but they will be the original individual. The same individual that adjusts to the new ecosystems. It's a form of self-perpetuation. If the breed doesn't disappear, the bacteria will live forever and multiplied by 1,000. Some say that the first bacteria arrived on Earth from outer space. Whether this is true or not, no other living being could have withstood the trip better. Therefore, even if we discard the idea that bacterial life may live outside our blue planet, nowadays, it's possible that we may be the ones that will export them. And that will be the fact, the only fact, that we will not have copied in one way or another from wildlife, from natural genius. <laughs>